Ken Pools gave us another Excel challenge. And I'm going to whoop that on you. But really, what I want to get at is bigger than this challenge, all right? What we're faced with is take each word and calculate its total number of points. Starting with A, both lowercase and uppercase, those are 1. All the way down to Z, upper and lowercase, that would be 26. So we add up the total points in the word attitude and wind up with 100 points. That is the challenge. Here's the list of words that I'm going to start with. And then I'm going to put letter and points. I'm just going to type the whole damn alphabet. Then the points. Now I have a lookup table. Go ahead and format it as a table. Now here, my instinct is telling me parse the words by one character, get them all in a big stack, make an index column for it, do a merge, group, get everything all back, and I'll have the points. There it is. So that's what I'm going to do. Data from table slash range. I'm going to call this values and then add an index column starting at one and I just need to load this as a connection only. Let's get our word from table slash range. I'm going to duplicate this column because I'm about to split this column into rows and I need a way to get these words back together. Right click and duplicate column. Now split column by number of characters. One repeatedly split into rows. Okay. Now a merge. Merge queries. I'm going to bring in the values, match letter, and word copy. OK. Expand. And I don't need the letter. I need the points. And I don't need this prefix. OK. Capital A has one. Lowercase a has one. Uppercase E and lowercase e both have five. That's what we want. We don't need this middle column anymore. Right click it remove. Now we're going to group by. Group by the word, put in points, sum the points column. Okay. And we got it. Attitude has a hundred points. That's what we wanted. Let's close and load it. Let's make some room. Let's add another word. Refresh. There we go. Sandwich gets 81 points. I'm going to leave you a link so you can see some of the other solutions. Some used M code. Others used curly brackets and ellipses and created lists inside of the M code or inside the, uh, the Power Query editor. But the main thing I want to get across to you is accept your own style. I thought about coming up with something more complicated, crafty, but then my style has always been slow and brutal and still victorious. I think about athletes who have their own way of doing what they do and they do it well their way. I'm more like Jerome Bettis from the Pittsburgh Steelers. He was big, he was slow, but don't get in his way. You get run over. He was not shifty like Walter Payton or Eric Dickerson. He wasn't fast like Eric Dickerson, but 
he was a winner he was successful in my excel style i don't like named ranges i don't use keyboard shortcuts i have my reasons for that but i still get the work done So let me show you something that's interesting about my way of having this lookup table. We want to find out how many points are in the name of my friend Noel. Okay, let's refresh. It's only 41 points because that E with the dots on top, that's not getting any points. So we can add that to my lookup table. E's get five points, so let's give it a five. And one of my favorite cities, Sao Paulo. This gets a one. Now, let's refresh. 46 points for Noel, 100 points for the majestic, magical, wonderful city of Sao Paulo. We got the solution, but even bigger than that, know your style and own it. See you in the next video.